So now we will discuss the conversion of a NAND gate into OR gate or how we can design a OR gate using a NAND gate. Okay, so before we uh, do this uh, design, there are three basic rules that we must know, the rules of Boolean algebra which will be utilized here. The first one is any logic level multiplied with itself will give the same. If we double complement a logic level, we will give the same logic level as output. And another one is the first De Morgan theorem. Okay, these three rules will be used to convert a NAND gate into a OR gate. So, you pl please uh, note them down separately and refer to it whenever I perform the uh, conversion operation. Okay? So, these are the three rules that are going to be used to convert a NAND gate into a OR gate. Okay? So, let us now perform the conversion. <coughs> First, let us see what is the output of a OR gate. This is the schematic symbol of uh, OR gate. We have two inputs, let us say A and B. And the output is A plus B. Okay? Okay. Now, we have to get the same output using a NAND gate. Okay, how can we do that? So, let us uh, first use a NAND gate here. And another NAND gate here. Okay. Two NAND gates. Here we give shorted signal means two equal signals that is A. Okay? A dot A is equal to A, the output will be A dot A bar which is equal to A bar. The first rule which I just mentioned, you, refer, you can refer to that. And here, let us give the second input, equal input b dot p bar which is equal to b bar. So, we got a bar and b bar. Now, we will give these two signals as input to a third NAND gate. Now, the output of this NAND gate will be A complement and B complement whole complement. Here the De Morgan theorem comes into play. As per De Morgan theorem, Y bar. Okay? So, here this is equal to complement or B double complement. Okay? A double complement or B double complement which is equal to A or B. Because we know that when we double complement a logic level or logic signal, we will get the same logic signal. So, here we got the output of the OR gate. So, you can again see here that the first NAND gate we give the equal logic levels A as the two inputs. We got the output as A and A whole complement which is A complement. To the second NAND gate we gave the equal logic level signal B as two inputs 
which are equal and we got the output B and B complement which is B complement. Now to the third NAND gate we give A complement and B complement as the two input signals and the output is given by A complement and B complement whole complement. Then we applied De Morgan's theorem this rule here and we got A double complement or B double complement which is A or B because the double complement of any signal will give us the same signal. Okay? So, we got the OR gate output using a combination of NAND gates alone. So, we designed a OR gate using NAND gate. Now, another interesting thing. Okay, up to here we got the OR gate output. Up to this, this is the OR gate. Suppose we add another NAND gate here. This was the OR gate output. So, if we connect another NAND gate here with shorted inputs that is both the inputs equal, it will give us NOR gate A plus B R. Okay? So, here we converted the NAND gate to a NOR gate just by a simple modification. We an uh, added another extra NAND gate at the output of this gate which gave us the OR gate output and when we inverted it we got the NOR gate output. So, we converted the NAND gate into both OR gate and NOR gate. Okay? Just by adding an, another extra NAND gate at the output of this OR gate output, we gave us input and we got the NOR gate. Okay? So, this is how we designed both OR gate and NOR gate using NAND gate. Okay?